Now, it's a little known fact that um, Now Magazine actually began as a nature magazine. Strange as it sounds, Nature of Wildlife, N-O-W, was how Now Magazine started. 20 years later, uh, John decides that he wants to take another stab at the wildlife game. He asked me, you know, can, can, do you think you can do it? Can you deliver to me 67 episodes on Toronto wildlife uh, for broadcast, at broadcast quality? And I told him, yes, I can. Nature of Wildlife presents Chapter 21, Toronto Living with Toronto Wildlife. Toronto is Canada's largest metropolis, but it is also a hotbed for animal activity. Just look at this beautiful vista nestled in the heart of the city. Just seconds before the camera rolled, I had one of these guys eating bread out of the palm of my hand. It's too bad we didn't get that. It's a very sad thing, really, that, that a lot of the, the footage never went to air. And uh, honestly, a lot of it ended up on the, the cutting room floor. Stay on the bird, stay on the bird. I'm just gonna try and touch him once here. Fascination, I wouldn't call it a fascination with, with, with touching wildlife, I mean, I just want to touch you one. Just want to touch you one. Okay, that didn't work, but let me just try again here. Oh, he's flying away on me, folks. He's flying away. Look at that wingspan. Hey, bird. Did I think the footage was less than ideal? Uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, what's ideal? Algae. The diesel that fuels our ecosystem. A simple non-flowering son of a bitch. The diesel that fuels our ecosystem. A simple non-flowering plant that is a primary food source for various marine wildlife. Algae. Um, algae is very interesting and I think that that's some very interesting footage. The DP, oh, um, Leon, as, uh, <laughs> as he uh, liked to be called, uh, the, the, or the cameraman. He, he said that he'd shot, uh, you, you know, he'd been shooting for 30 years, and, and, and I believe him. I believe him. Standing here next to the majesty of Mother Nature, isn't she breathtaking? It is well known that up in the top of these beautiful elm trees, there lie many nests of neighboring birds. Little treats and treasures at the top of this beautiful landmark. Let's head up there and see what we can find. These appear to be the precious work of the blue jay. Um, now we have to be very careful not to touch the eggs. God, it's hard not to touch them. It's hard not to touch them. <laughs> Did I touch? <laughs> that, that, you, you're, you're. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I have never actually been this close to a blue jay egg. If, if I touch once in a while, hey, I'm human. You know, we all have urges. I hear the mother blue jay's call are coming, coming, coming from the west. And she, she's, right, she's right there. She's watching me. She's watching me. She's coming. I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked by the mother. He's attacking my face. He's attacking my I've been crouched in the thicket here for a solid five hours with the hopes of a rare encounter with the crown jewel of Toronto wildlife, the red-tailed deer. The footage of, of the red-tailed deer. Uh, would would be the crown jewel. To pet the red-tailed deer is to pet the heart of nature. 
I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit closer and see if I can't get in and pet him. Oh my god, I, I'm petting a red-tailed deer. I can't believe it. Are you getting this? This is this is unbelievable. He's letting me touch his antlers now. Wow, there he goes. My God, I can't believe we, we, we got that. I can't believe we got that. That is unbelievable footage. <laughs> it's a very difficult thing, uh, wildlife photography. It's very touch and go. Aperture, what, what is aperture? Over, under, ex exposure. You know, I'd say what was uh, overexposed or definitely was exposed was uh, wildlife and the GTA. Toronto wildlife is an integral part of the city itself and is something not to be overlooked, but rather to be enjoyed for all its natural beauty. Go nature. That's it. Wow, okay. I feel like I've been here for five minutes, really. I mean, uh, yeah.